Adeptus Titanicus, a box set 30 years in the making. Spiky bits. The new Adeptus Titanicus box set is finally here. The original coming out in 1988, which pit pitted of course you know other titans against each other followed up by epic and then finally space marine on the small scale epic scale in the late 90s now it's 2018 and we have the grandmaster edition of the game here now if you're checking out this video you probably already know kind of some of the details about what's going on with it eagerly anticipated release uh, this is a ginormously heavy box it comes with uh, decent value when you uh, you know, consider that the rules come in here as well, and the rules actually have a uh, value because it's the first time they've released them singly. But the good news is that you get everything in this box to actually play. Uh, you can, like we said in the past, purchase an additional rule set, split this box and additional rules with your friend, each get one of everything out of here, and it's gonna cost you about 175. This is three, or excuse me, $290 US. The rules are 60, so that'll get you up to to 350 right there and you're probably like wait what do i get for all my money well you get all this stuff on the back here it's pretty uh actually pretty dope so you get all the rule set stuff the order terminals for both titans you get two of each warlord reaver and of course the warhound then you get two questorus knights command terminals they call them banners the squads are called banners in this you get two warlords two banners air quotes of questorus knights a uh, set of the buildings all the weapon cards and everything that's pretty much all inclusive thing right here in and of itself but the key here is that if you do the values you're coming out with 390 dollars in value over buying it separate so you're going to make out a hundred dollars which isn't too bad considering it's a new rule set and such and uh, that we've seen in the past from them and they tend to kind of value those higher like they did with necromunda and such this isn't like a Prospero or a Calth where they're just giving you $400 worth of minis for, you know, 150, 160 bucks. But that being said, it's still for its time and for what it is, a brand new rule set rebooted after 30 years. Um, something that you definitely need to check out. Now let's dig right into it. Brought some extra light online here to get inside of the box, which this Grandmaster Edition was produced in China, distributed by G-Dub in the UK. They produced, from what we can tell, about 12,000 uh, 12, units of this. And by comparison, Kill Team was about 36,000 units. Now, we know that there's a uh, first 100 units here in the States. There was a pre-order, and you get like a coin or something. I'm not sure exactly if that uh, went over to trade accounts or anything like that. But um, for the most part, most of it was made in China, distributed by UK, except for the Warlord Titan said... The Warlord Titan single said it was just made in the UK. So, like I said, we showed you with Kill Team where some of the plastics look slightly different depending on if they're made in China or produced in the UK. I imagine them producing the stuff in China takes a strain off of the, the sole production in the UK. Uh, and as long as they keep the quality up, I, I, I'm okay with that. We live in a society. We, we demand standards, right? For our dollars. The blue, uh, the templates made their way back to us. We already showed you these. These are blue. Uh, we showed you these in our rule book unboxing. Now, the cool thing in here are the new little baby knights. Now, the baby knights, just to give you a better look here, um, they are tiny. This is a half sprue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying here? These are going to be on 40 mil basis. So they're going to be about the size of a Terminator, give or take probably the width, the footprint, the girth of a Terminator there because the shoulder pads are similar. They look like they go together similar as to a knight with the sides and then they could kind of go on the bottom here and you got the legs and such. These plates, I don't know about keeping them off. But I feel like if you're gonna airbrush, you might wanna keep the tops off. It looks like they may just snap down. Yeah, they got the little ridges right there. So they probably snap down over top of it we haven't assembled any of these yet and we're not going to do a separate unboxing so just kind of keep that in mind we're just spitballing here but that is the way i will attack it here shortly as we start to uh, assemble the rest of our box here for doing some demos this weekend which will be pretty fun for the local community and it looks like you can do a little bit of paint work up there it does come with a decal sheet and we'll show you that as well so back to the Grandmaster Edition, two of those, put those off to the side. Then, like I said, you are gonna get two Warlords in here. We already started working. So this thing's gonna be chock full of miniatures. Don't worry about that. There's the 40 mils, the large Dread Knight or Flight Stand base for the Warlord. And remember, the Warlord comes on three big sprues. You're gonna use a 5mm 
by one mm um, magnet to attach all the weapons and this is a separate weapon sprue which means they might come out with upgrades in the future or at least you know forge world might have something so three sprues for that you can check out our full on warlord unboxing which should be up right about the same time here then two sets of the ruins normally the ruins they're forty dollars oh, that's the command there's the command stuff now we did a, a separate unboxing of the rules themselves but basically this is what and we break down what size bases everything's going to be on what to use all this stuff for so check that one out these are the Civitas sprues, I think they're called. They're basically they have just Titanic scenery. So normally you get two of these and two of these. This is going to be two complete sets. So this is why I say if you split this box, you add in a rule set, you split this box with your buddy, three hundred and fifty dollars total divided by two, at least here in the states, and then you've got you each got enough to play Titan skirmish level and the first level of match play plus you're all gonna have the assets and everything right here that actually add a lot to the game but there's a quick start rules uh to this game which will get you set up and not having to roll like comp the more complicated stuff like reactors and uh things like that like pushing your reactor nice little kind of fold out i'm definitely gonna hang on to this one and put this one on the shelf because that is fresh and then you've got all the accoutrement, everything that you're going to need to start playing the game. Sample chapter from Titanicus, uh, a novel by Dan Abnett. Your two uh, banners of night decals here. So this is going to be House Markabas, Veroni, Cold Shroud, Malinex. Those are Scorpion dudes. And I guess that's it. Hmm. All right. And then on... Um, these guys side, which we've already showed you this, you're going to get Ataris, Mortis, Astorum, Furion, and Gryphonicus, and just the generic stuff up there. Two of those for the Warlords, then you got all your dice. Now, keep in mind, don't lose. <laughs> you're going to need your location dice. You're going to need that. You're going to need your reactor die. These, you only get one of these in here. These are super important. Uh, very hard to replace. <laughs> don't lose those. I almost wish I had more when I was playing. Then you're going to see all this in our rule book review or our rule set review. All of your uh, control terminals. Your tricks in. Uh, you're going to get stratagems in here. You're going to get the cards for the assets, which are those little like bunker looking things. Those are going to come in here. You're going to get your tertiary objectives in here too uh, that you can play for the game. Then all of your war gear cards. Now these are not symmetrical. You are not going to get two of everything in here. So if you want to equip things the same way, uh, because they do give you warhounds, they do give you reavers, but those models aren't out yet. Now, if you want to equip them the same, you're gonna need another pack of cards, unfortunately. It's it's a little frustrating, but I imagine when they come out with the the models that they will have the cards in them. But for right now, you have enough to kind of play one of each, and then you have to pick and choose. You get your quick reference guides right here, your 96 page rule book as well. You get two of these. We we go into this in depth and explain a lot of things. Uh, once you get a couple of games under your belt, you will be able to kind of know like, hey, and there's a couple uh, tricks right here to rolling faster dice and stuff like that. Let's open up the pamphlets and just give you a preview of that real quick as well. So pamphlet wise, just the instructions for the knights the warlord battle titan and putting the terrain together and the terrain's cool it's really really modular uh it is going to require a lot of scraping a lot of mold lines and such like that uh, but for the you know it, it's titanicus size so it's pretty cool but you might have stuff that you could sub for all that and it'll work uh just fine as you know kind of as far as that goes now when it comes to the knights which we really haven't seen and we're not going to cover oh let me show you something else too so for the warlord banners a lot of folks are saying you can get the, uh, well, this is the Citadel palette paper. It's basically just a surface. It's a light, like a really thin plastic card, but it'll hold a shape. Like if you mold it and then you hit it with a little heat, it'll actually hold that shape. So you can kind of create a few kill banners and such and things, or if you just get really thin kind of a plastic card itself, you can do the same thing. But a lot of folks might have the actual palette paper. Let me see if I got it. Oh yeah, here's what it looks like. You may have to special order it. Uh, you can get it from places like Miniature Market. 
that I actually ordered this from Miniature Market, believe it or not, because my local game store didn't have it. But uh, this stuff's great for painting on too if you don't want to shell out like 40 bucks for a wet palette. That's some good tech right there. These guys, it doesn't matter what they're equipped with currently. Uh, they pretty much fight the same way. So you don't have to worry about magnetizing them. And then here's the breakdown on it. So like I said, pretty easy. It looks like the tops are just going to go over across the sides, just like the original there, the weapons, uh, two different heads. Then it looks like uh, the front plates goes on pretty easily. You can kind of just kind of pick whatever cannon you want right there. Uh, according to this, oh, and there's the feats. Feats all go together. I can't believe how small these are. It's crazy. There's all the different weapons and the Titan decal guide. So mm, it's probably going to take a little while. This takes about the same time to put together as a normal Knight Titan. The normal size one that's this big. Well, I, actually, this is smaller than it. So I can only imagine uh, with all the different parts here, you're probably talking something like uh, the same amount of time to assemble a Space Marine biker or something. Maybe something on a mount that's two different models generally. Uh, I could definitely see that being about... Uh, the same amount of time right there so overall i think you know if you're looking to pick up a new rule set you save uh you save a chunk of money on this it's uh, it's new it's exciting don't listen to the naysayers out there that are saying hey these rules are too complicated and stuff like that your very first game of any game will be a little complicated uh, that is uh that is a fact and i can tell you right now it, it will be a little uh, complicated if you get the quick start rules or if you play a demo game at your local game store this weekend, then you will have a little bit better of an idea of the basics. And that's a great place to start, in my opinion, uh, than jumping right into all the optional stuff like issuing orders, playing stratagems, doing things like uh, reactor checks when you push a reactor, because that is super stressful on your Titan, and you want to be super careful with that because you can get into some sticky situations very fast. Remember, games go only go four, five, six turns at the max, and when you're playing with so few models, things are going to happen. <laughs> Do not be afraid if you just things explode and you lose things uh, because that's actually how the game kind of progresses right there. So um, you will lose things, things will die quickly. Do not take risks. Well, sometimes you have to to, uh, to kind of seize the day there. But overall, I think it's a super solid rule set. Uh, been able to dig into it and play a bunch of games already. Just getting all the, the previews and stuff under my belt. And uh, I, I really like this game and I can't wait for the next two little uh, knights, or excuse me, little titans to come out and be able to fill out those full on uh, maniples. So check out our other two reviews on the build and magnetize the Warlord Titan and also the rules box itself where we go over a little bit more in depth about the game and uh, kind of everything you get in there and what everything does more than just kind of what's in this box kind of type deal there. So that's it for this one. If you like these type of product reviews and unboxings, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.